good you guys it's your girl carter back with another freaking video and guess what your girl got her goddess pearls detox pearls boom y'all before we get into this video if you are new here please make sure that you are hitting the subscribe button if you are returning thank you so much for being here um and yes let's get into the video okay guys so i have had a lot of people asking me about this product um asking me how is it what happens what came out any side effects or just simply just wanting to know what is it like what do you do with it so um i did tell you guys that myself and chelsea will be um using the goddess vaginal detox pearls y'all it's probably backwards for y'all but yeah using this product um so um yeah so she's gonna give her like take on it because she's already used hers and your girl just now getting off her cycle so um you know after we give our man some then you know we get to go ahead and use this so y'all give me a couple days but i am gonna actually go ahead and read up on this and take it out and let's see what's happening so I have used um, the, I think they called it Yanni Pearls um, with another company that I use. This is my first time using it. But if you want to go and check that out, I think that I had good results. I think I left it in for two to three days. Um, but I think that I did have really good results with that. I actually showed pictures. and I, But I don't think that I was like really, um, maybe I was detailed with the, um, symptoms but since we are using a new company um let's get into it so this is the packaging very pretty um y'all so i got this on black friday sale and i think this is normally like 15 dollars. i'm gonna have to go back and check the price but i caught this when it was five dollars five y'all so i bought two cleanses um yeah so two. Oh, ooh, let's open the package all right guys so before we open the package for those of you that are new to vaginal detox pearls let's just read what it says so it says what is this a holistic herbal vaginal cleanse meant to aid women in detoxing their intimate area physically spiritually and emotionally this product is not meant to treat or cure any vaginal alien alien pretty much any STDs or any issues going on which is with your vagina okay pretty much is what that means so it comes with two goddess vaginal detox pearls two applicators and the instructions so now I'm gonna open the package all right guys so I'm opening it up it does not have a smell while I'm opening it up okay here are their two applicators. Can y'all see? Please refer to email for instructions. But you said it was going to be in here. But that's okay. And then these little, this little pouch of the detox pearls. So it really has the instructions on the back, really. Okay. So this expires next year in September. So I'm going to still just pull it out, even though I'm not about to insert it right now. I just kind of want to see what we're looking at. Okay, y'all. So this pretty much says to use one pearl for 24 hours, remove it, and then insert the second pearl in and leave it in for 48 hours. So a total of three days using this. And then it says, wait three days for toxins to purge. Um, so it says this process is six days. Hmm. Also says, not to be used on menstrual cycle, 10 days or less before your menstrual cycle, or with one pearl, use only one pearl at a time, y'all. With the last um, company I used, I was able to use two at a time. Um... I think I did do two at a time. Nothing happened. I mean, I was okay. But let's go ahead and open this package. Let's see what it smells like. Ooh, now I smell something. Y'all smell. 
y'all. What's that ingredient? The motherwort. That's exactly like that is the main thing that I smell. I don't know if I really like that smell, but all right, y'all. Make sure your hands are clean. This is the pearl, y'all. Look how small it is. The last ones I had, y'all, they were like maybe one and a half size this big. So this is very small. So mm, you better do your Kegels to keep this pearl in, y'all. And here is the other one. So you just have two. Y'all, they real strong. Real strong. Can y'all smell? Y'all, it smells like it's about to do some major um, vaginal cleaning. So, yeah, let's... Hmm. I think that I'm going to give myself like two or three days. And then I'm going to go ahead and start it. Because I think... I Let me do some research to see. Because I think that um, there is a certain time you're supposed to use it if you're trying to um, get pregnant. So... I'm going to go ahead and put all these things back in here. Before I move on to the next segment, if you have some questions in your mind, go ahead and drop those comments down below. Um, and I will be sure to answer them to the best of my ability. I will also put the website in the description box and across the screen so you'll know. I found them on Instagram. Do your research. Do your research. Do your research before you stick anything in your vagina, ladies. All right, do your research, y'all. I also ordered the Power um, Yanni Wash. It's a rose quartz body wash, y'all. I'm petty for not saying it, but I just really don't like saying it out loud. But um, yeah, so pretty much it's a body wash that you use for your vagina. Um, it's supposed to give you like this sensual, um, sensual, sensual. Um, feeling tingling feeling and um she gives you like certain affirmations to say um you know washing it just putting power back into the vagina um so i'm hoping that it's gonna put some baby making power into my vagina and produce a baby okay <laughs> y'all i'm at this point like especially with it being a new year to where i'm just kind of like when when's it gonna happen so yeah guys like now that we are in 2023 i remember like this time last year um i remember so vaguely like um bishop was saying like make sure you know you tell god that you are thanking god in advance you're praising god for what it is that you're asking him for in the new year 2022 so you know i was thanking god for life thanking god for family my husband my mom my friends all the things that I have, um, and I asked God, I was like, you know, God, you know my want, you know my heart for a child, and um, right after I said that, not even like 15 seconds, Bishop said, you probably didn't get that baby last year, but God's going to give it to you year this year. Well, <sighs> that year has passed, and I'm still without my child. However, I still believe God. But yeah, guys, like just crazy faith or sometimes I feel like I'm crazy for still believing that it can still happen to me. But like I want it to still happen for us. Um, But like I'm at a point now where it's like, OK, Carter, just keep trying whatever you keep seeing. Just give it a try. Just give it a try. So I'm going to give it a try and just still be hopeful for this year. Um, and be intentional with my body. Be intentional with um, the decisions that I make. Um, I want to get back on my vitamins. I want to ease back into taking serapeptase. Because um, y'all know that that medicine can make you feel really sick to your stomach. Um, I bought some CoQ10. Um, vitamin B. I bought like a whole bunch of stuff. And I bought some new teas. I don't know when the hell I'm going to get them though. But let me tell y'all what I got. So I got the blood purifier and the baby boom plus um, from Crystal the Goddess. I think that Crystal the Goddess or something like that. 
again i've bought several teas from her but i've never really just been super consistent with it um so i want to be content intentional with that plus for one because those teas cost me 70 dollars um but i want to be intentional with taking it even if i drink it every other day um you're supposed to drink it like three cups a day that's a lot but i just want to try my hardest maybe i can make like so much of it and then just try to drink it throughout the day um but yeah guys i'm going to try my best to be intentional with my body and give it the best that i got but i'm at the point where it's like god if this isn't for me if a child isn't in my future let me know and let me down easy but guys once i get all of my stuff here like all of the the supplements that i'm going to be taking where i can actually show you guys i probably won't get those teas until sometime in february because she's kind of like backed up because she does sales and um she gets a lot of business like she is amazing at what she does so um it's probably going to be a while but i'm going to do a separate video with all the um pills that i plan to take and how i'm going to try to split those things up so i can try to get them all in and see how it makes me feel um and then also just refresh myself on um what those things are for um and how they can help me so um the next time when i come back i will be doing this thing doing this uh, detox pearl and then we'll be back with chelsea's testimony on how everything went with her hey for ladies her experience hey on how it's your girl went. carter looking cute and i am back with the second segment of using the yanni pearls i don't have them with me right now however um as promised i did say that i was going to come back and talk to you guys about my experience so um i have notes here that i'm going to go down the line and add in pictures as i go um so if you are interested in this stay tuned so sideline like have you ever just ever did your makeup so damn good and curled your hair so damn good to where you don't want to take it off and you don't want to put your hair in the pony and you don't want to take this cute shirt off y'all this is the shirt that i got from she in <sighs> y'all your girl stepped out tonight so why not to give y'all a video why she cute because y'all I know y'all was tired of seeing that hat, trying to see me just looking blah. But yeah, I just had to give a sideline note here for y'all. But if you are new here, definitely subscribe to my channel. There's things all about Carter, me, and some of my TTC channel or TTC um, journey. All right, guys. So I don't know where I will actually add like the videos, but I wanted to share my notes with you guys. So I um, inserted the pearl in on January the 6th at 1.30 a.m. And the pearl was very small. Um, so I had to like keep pushing it up. And then, y'all, it was tragic. I had to like end up laying like on a bed on my side to push it up and then I started doing some kegels and that kind of helped the pearl to stay in. I also added a pad because it was supposed to cause some wetness and by 1.45 I was having some mild cramps on my right side and for those who are new to this channel um, let me kind of tell you what I associate that with. So I associate those uh, cramps on my right side because I have mild hydrosal pinks. Um, if you're not quite sure what that is, definitely look it up. But pretty much it's a, where my fallopian tube kind of like keeps the fluid and it just stays in like this pocket. Sometimes it flows, sometimes it doesn't. So it's called a mild blockage um, in my fallopian tube. So that was what I had experienced. And let's see. The scent was very, very strong. Um, but anywho, the the cramping was kind of intense, but very mild. But I was, I'm hoping that it was doing something on that side. Maybe kind of try to pull the fluid out. I don't know. I was just really hoping that it was doing something. Okay, guys. So the instructions say to insert the pearl for 24 hours. And then after the 24 hours, 
insert a new pearl so that's what i did um you're supposed to have it in for i think 24 to 48 hours again um so i did that and i experienced the cramping on my right side again um kind of intense but i would say a mild cramping it was uncomfortable um so i just kind of went on with that still had to lay on my side and insert the pearl in to make sure that it was actually up there once it got up there it was cool um on the 48 hour day um i experienced some issues with dryness um to where it was just uncomfortable yeah it was uncomfortable so what i ended up doing um since i was dealing with some uncomfortable um feelings i ended up just removing the pearl out and it was like instant relief it was almost like the little part that the string is wrapped around was like irritating i don't know it was very weird it's hard for me to understand but i felt really like dry and I'm like, maybe, just maybe, this pearl sucked all the fluid out of my fallopian tube. Because um, I have not dealt with any more um, cramping since I've removed it. So, hopefully, um, that just kind of helped with my um, hydrosal pinks for this month or for a couple of weeks just by draining. Um, because that's what the, the pearls do. It kind of just pulls down all the impurities that don't need to be there. Um, but overall, I think it was a good experience. Um, yeah, I think it was pretty good. So guys, the next part that I was excited for was the purging part. So like once I pulled the pearl out and I felt my sense of relief, of course your girl had to get a mirror and, you know, look down at your girl and just kind of see what's going on down there. Um, and I could kind of see where the purge was starting to get to the outside of the vagina. You know, kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but just right where like the the entrance is into the, the vagina. So it was kind of just piling up right there. And I have a tendency to want to pick at it and try to get it out, but I didn't. At this time, I just started drinking hella, hella, hella water and um to try to get it out you're supposed to drink i think one gallon of water well a gallon for every hundred pounds you weigh so remember that all right guys good morning so um this is all that i'm getting i don't know if i need to be drinking more water i drank water all day yesterday um with an exception of one time and i can still see it at the very um, opening of the vagina but this is all that's coming out y'all this is it Ugh. this is it i'm really hoping to get more i can see more there i wish i could show you guys but of course we can't but this is all that i'm getting now i was able to actually get this little piece off so for the first two days of the purging process not really a lot was coming out i mean i could kind of still see it because i'm still checking for it but it wasn't really coming out so one time I did kind of, you know, upon wiping myself, just kind of a dig. I won't do that again, but just a little bit came out, not enough to even try to show. So I increased my water even more. And on that third day, um, it started like really coming. Um, some were like little bitty pieces and I'll show some pictures of it too. Some was like some little bitty pieces and then I will wipe in a fairly nice size for what I'm looking for came out. And then when I stood up, I saw, oh shit, like there was a smaller clump of it in the toilet. So I got it out so I could show you guys. So take a look at the picture so you can see what I'm looking at. So pretty much like after I got that out, once that came out naturally, I haven't had anything else come out, you guys. So, um, you know how we see those ladies that have all these, like, uh, sacks of stuff come out and fibroid, uh, like, sacks come out and bloody things come out. None of that stuff happened for me. And I don't have fibroids or anything like that. So, of course, I wasn't looking for that. But I guess, like, maybe the fluid came out or something. I don't know. Um, and that's kind of the same thing that happened with my last time of using the Yanni Pearls, 
I didn't get like a whole lot of stuff come out and or something that was like scary like what the hell am I looking at it was never anything like that so I just hope that whatever did come out wasn't supposed to be there and I think I am going to maybe do it again in February so overall using the goddess detox yarny pearls was a good experience for me minus the um irritation of the dryness um besides that like yeah I would definitely recommend this product and um I would definitely try it again. Um, hopefully, this will get my cycle on track. I'm very um, excited to hear Chelsea's experience with it because I know she was trying to jumpstart some things because she does have PCOS. So, if I get to get with her in time, then we'll definitely share her experience or we'll come back for another video and talk about that. Um, I'm not quite sure what's next for me. Um, if we're going to continue to try to do the Mucinex again or what me and Nick have to talk about it. Um, right now, I'm really just trying to monitor my cycle. And this past month, I was still like four days late, which is concerning. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much my take on my experience um, using the Goddess Detox Yanni Pearls. Um, I will put the link down below if you are interested in purchasing some. Please, please, please. Again, I tell you guys to do your own research before you try anything that I um, review or I try. Trust me, I did my own research first. Um, and I hope you guys just enjoy this video. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'm happy to answer them. Um, give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you are unsubscribed. Help your girl get to 1K subscribers. Um, we have about 280 more before we get there. I really got I really do appreciate you guys for watching this video. I love you guys so much. And until next time, bye guys.